Okay, this is Dragon of Journey, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, patch 7.0 MSQ, or a main scenario questline, or a main story questline. In the last video, we made it to the final zone. To living memory. And Sveen is planning to wipe her memories and become like a devourer of worlds to take the ether for her for her citizens. It's it's quite the threat to every world, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Those who live forever. Uklamat's frustration is fairly palpable. Alright, so let's let's find a way to reach her then in this video. Hopefully. It doesn't seem like we can do much else here. Let's return to the Aether Rife for now. A caretaker, Constancy. Perhaps he can tell us more about this business of Sveen going into a slumber. Now the gemstone trade is unlocked. Alright. So I'll need to get the riding map then. This really is just like an afterlife zone, isn't it? Gargantua hide. Nothing else. Alright. He's left the area. Is that? No, that's not him. Don't tell me he's gone somewhere else. No sign of constancy. Nowhere in sight. Perhaps he has taken other recent arrivals on a tour. But the ball's closed. Looking for someone, are you? Yes, he was just here earlier, a fellow named Constancy. <gasps> Wait, what? Uh oh. Hello everyone, you made it here, as I knew you would. Is that who I think it is? It... It is. It's Kokwea. None other, this is the first time some of you are seeing me in the proverbial flesh, isn't it? Feast your eyes then. She who was controlling that unassuming machine was a ravishing Shatona Maiden! Oh my. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Ignore me. So it was true. That means you're... That, that you're here means... I tried to tell you so many times, but my courage always failed me. I am indeed an endless. Have been for quite a while now. Erinville. Now, you've come to stop Sveen, yes? I can help with that, but I have a request to make. You know how to stop her, then? While there are no guarantees, your coming here makes it a distinct possibility. As my wish is relevant to your mission, will you hear me out? You can decide what to do afterwards. Excellent. To begin, we'll need to head to a different area. See that sentry? I'll have them grant ac grant you access across the zip line. Zip line? What's that? A fun little mode of transport. They don't see much use though, as we endless can teleport freely within living memory. This particular line will take you to a zone called Canal Town, 
I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> With that endearing pushiness, it could only be Kakwea. Let's go. No words. Oh boy. You're gonna be alright, Aaron. I'm sorry, it's just, she's gone, yet to see and hear her carrying on like nothings. I don't know how to feel. Kakwea has already teleported ahead, it seems. I think I know how it works, I've got this. Yeah, we had that in the Charlene dungeon. It has the look of the contraptions found throughout the Isle of Harm, doesn't it? Or does it not? Hmm, you don't seem to be. Bleep bloop. Error. Error. Here's a regulation. C -c Confirmed. I bid you welcome to Canal Town. The result of romance and relaxation. Please enjoy your stay. Right, I'm going to assume these are a bunch of FF9 locations, and since I haven't played the game, I won't understand any of the references. Yeah, apparently, even the. Even Otis was like an FF9 reference. And I didn't know. What a charming place. That's them. The people's fiend strives to protect. There are other ways of doing it now. Having like overpopulation of the dead is not a good idea. They look happy. So what's this request of yours? I want you to erase us. Erase the endless. What? We don't have to erase all of them, do we? Some people are tired of eternity. Yeah. For now, let us hear the rest. And by race, she means. Yes. Kakuya must have her reasons. now. Spare me those gloomy faces. Being alive you are the only ones who can do this. And we won't have a better opportunity than this while Queen's Fiend is busy preparing to initiate interdimensional fusion. It's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain the endless. This I firmly believe. But talking to you now, you seem as real as any of us. And if you need an answer right away, I don't know if I can give it. Is there a reason we need to act so soon? Because, as you've just said, it's wrong. Oh. Let me check something. Yeah, that's still going. Because, as you've just said, it's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain us. Remember, we need life force. Other forms of ether won't cut it. In the beginning, we managed with the ether of those who died in the barrier. But as our numbers grew, there began to be a shortage. That's why Queen's Fiend looked at other sources. Even the ether I'm composed of may have come from the victims of the attack in Tuliolal. I can't bear that thought. I can't bear to exist because someone died.
We'd probably feel the same if we were in your shoes, but what exactly are you asking us to do? In each zone, there is, enormous, there is an enormous data storage device called the terminal. That is where our memories are kept. He wants to turn them off. If you shut down a terminal, the memories within will disappear, along with those endless created from them. But does this need to be done now? Can't we stop Sveen first, then take it from there? It's precisely in order to stop Sveen that it must be done now. She is going to be a pissed off queen. Her own memories are stored within the Meso Terminal, which stands at the heart of living memory. That's a giant tomb, isn't it? As you would expect, the terminal's defenses are extremely tight. But it has moments of vulnerability, such as when it has finished calculations, which we can exploit to shut it down from within. While we wait for that opening, opening we erase the Endless. Once we are gone, Speed will no longer have a reason to plunder Aether from other worlds. Your own citizens are asking of this. Would Sveen simply allow us to shut down the terminals? In preparation for fusion, the Meso Terminal is currently performing massive calculations while gathering energy. If the system notices it, it cannot easily suspend the process. Rather than doing so, I believe it will attempt to accelerate the timetable and bridge worlds before the plan can be thwarted. It wouldn't be a decision Sveen would wish to make, but she would we able to save those who are stored in the Meso Terminal, at least. A sense in your strategy and in, stop, in resolving the soft sphene. We had anticipated that it might come to this, but to actually talk about erasing the Endless is difficult. You needn't feel any guilt. No matter how lifelike we may seem, we Endless are but for similes created from memories. Besides, stopping sphene requires that you shut down the Meso Terminal, which sustains all of us. Sooner or later, it will need to be done. If we are to be erased, then let it be before more people come to harm. Living, breathing people with futures they deserve to experience. I don't want you to go. We'll do as you ask. There has to be another way. I don't want you to go. There has to be another way. I'm afraid not. We spent years scouring preservations, records, but found nothing. It's truly a bothersome system they've created. I don't want you to go. <laughs> well, I appreciate the thought. We can't afford to miss this chance. Do this for me, will you? Oh, for the love of. We'll do as you ask. Son of a... Sorry, Aaron. Thank you for respecting my wish. And, as a personal request, while her actions cannot be condoned, I ask that you afford Queen Sveen a measure of understanding. Know that she herself didn't choose to become an Endless. It was preservation that made the choice for her. She is powerless to resist her purpose. What do you mean? The Sveen you know is an ideal that preservation brought to life. Harnessing the love of the living Sveen born for her people, they brought forth an eternal queen whose primary directive is to preserve the Endless. She is an AI. But as you know, the Endless consume ether. Sveen was compelled to find ways to procure it, and that compulsion has driven her to resort to interdimensional fusion. What, are you telling me the original Sveen wouldn't have chosen this? Of course she wouldn't. What the Queen might have done, she only she herself would know. But the scientists of preservation have vanished, leaving their created Queen to walk alone. So as you go about your mission, think not like you're stopping a ruthless villain, but rather like you're relieving a troubled soul of her burden. Alright, Kakuya, we understand now, both your reasonings and your feelings. But before we erase the Endless, I would like to know them. I'd like to know what she fights tooth and nail for. If we're going to reject someone's beliefs, let it be after we've come to understand them. This is a lesson I learned from the Rite of Succession. I realize we're pressed for time, but if it's alright for you, I want to meet as many people as I can. You truly are, Gulu Jaja's little kitten. Well, the calculations will take a while still. It should be fine if we do this as we proceed through the terminals. I'm with you. We might not be able to learn everything, but it would ne nevertheless be meaningful 
if we could glimpse the hearts of those who inhabit this place before we set them free. I'll leave it to you then. Once you've finished here, come and find me at the fountain near that big clock tower. Right, let's split up and find some locals to speak with. It really is a lovely place. You should run along and enjoy it while you can. He is an upset fussy bun bun. No, he for right around here, is there? I will not thank you your decision, and as my mother says, you needn't feel any guilt. Yet I admit, I myself am still conflicted. To have such doubts after coming all this way, it's laughable, isn't it? No, it's not. It's... It's rough. Your ancestors were refugees from Lindblom? What tales they must have. I must say, I'm starting to enjoy myself, even if it's only brief. This is the feel of a journey. Yeah. What the fuck? Outrunner. Torbellan. Alright. Well now, I don't believe I've seen you around before, a newcomer, I take it? It's wonderful here, let me tell you why I just bumped into a dear friend in life. And we've been whiling, whiling away the hours reminiscing. It might have been more like days, actually. You don't get a sense of the time here. By the way, did I hear the... Did you hear the announcement earlier? As much as I love this place, I wonder if Queen's Fiend can really sustain us forever. But I suppose there's no use worrying about such things. Anyway, thanks to you, we found a break in our conversation. We'll go and ride the gondola next. Genial Endless. Hello, hello there. Taking in the sights of Canal Town too, are you? Both my wife and I just adore this place. We had become estranged in life, she and I. But being here gave us the chance to reconcile. I couldn't be more grateful for the chance to spend these blessed little moments together again. I have no more regrets. Whether Her Majesty's plan succeeds or no, I can rest with peace in my heart. Well, we shall continue on our way, but we hope to see you again. Till next time. Oh. You, you can't do that to me. The Endless seemed to eat food with relish, but it couldn't be real, could it? Give it a try. Welcome, we have popcorn and cookies by way of snacks and mugs and plushies for the memories. <gasps> Give me a plushie. Mika the, f Mika the Moo. I recognize that name. Yeah, that's that's going to be a special fate, ain't it? Oh, I like cheese. Oh, is that what gives the stupid squirrel costume? Am I going to have to fight a giant squirrel? You there, have you tried the popcorn from that stall? Not yet. You haven't? You don't know what you're missing. I consider myself something of a gourmet, and believe me when I say the only classic salt. But I get only. Oh, it's from the second line. Believe me when I say the classic salt flavor is amazing. The saltiness is simply exquisite. That's the only way to describe it. Once you have a mouthful, it's impossible to stop until it's all gone. After you've tried that, I urge you to seek out the other stalls. There are lots of them everywhere, offering all manner of delights. For another recommendation off the top of my head, the ice cream over in Asil Castle. It's so smooth and rich and... Just thinking about it has given me a hankering. That's it. I'm going to go and have some right now. Alright, you're just a food critic. Or a food buff, I guess. 
Part of me hopes that my parents are here too, but it's probably too much to ask, or... You never know, they might be. Welcome, welcome, have a browse, and let me know when you're ready to order. You're hearing that lady's recommendation as well, I take it. I'd been wondering what the Endless do for sustenance, so it seemed a good opportunity to learn. Oh, this is your first time eating, is it? The food here is created using ether and memory data. To us, it tastes just like the real thing. So how about it? Would you care for some popcorn? Sure. Popcorn of Graha. Let's give it a try, shall we? That's the spirit. Find a table you like, and I'll bring it right now. And I'll bring it right out. Unless you worry, there's no charge. All the food is free here. Free food! You won't see that in England. Food created with memory data. How will this taste to the living, I wonder? Well, as I say, there's only one way to find out. Eating popcorn with Groha. The only thing that's missing is a movie. You sample a handful of popcorn. While it has texture, you can detect no taste whatsoever. Good gods, it tastes like nothing at all. That's the final moments. Might as well give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. I've never had such tasty popcorn. Can I just be blunt? <laughs> it's not our best seller for nothing. And, how about, and what about you? It's interesting. The saltiness is un is exquisite. Come on, they're about to be erased. Give them a bit of happiness. Ha ha ha, it's always special watching newcomers eat for the first time. Didn't I just have this scene in Solution 9? Yeah, I did. They're just like the people of Everkeep. A communal spirit, their delighted smiles, exactly the same. Thank you for your custom. Come again, any time. By the way, prior to this, a young man caught my eye near the canal. He appeared to be searching for something and rather fran yeah, fran frantically. Did you perchance see him too? No. No? I must say I'm curious as to... What has him flustered? What has him so flustered? Could you help me look for the fellow? All right. My thanks. Let's head to where I saw him. All right. Swimming this? You can. Oh. Alright. It's gonna be a giant one of these, isn't it? I bet. Oh, please let these be like things you can actually wear. That'd be cute. Could seem he is no longer in the vicinity. Let's keep looking. Whatever it is that troubles him, perhaps we can be of assistance. Serenity and sor Sorrow. Grahatia wishes to track down the troubled Endless. I cannot claim to know exactly how Endless behave, but hopefully our man has not gone far. Let us split up to search for him. He is an Eldite with fair hair. An Eldite? I'm sorry, I still didn't know which... Like, wh which races were which.
Bad man, is that you? God strike me down, reunite again after a hundred years and watch it happen. Hello. Yes, my apologies, but I'm in some haste. If you have something to say, please make it brief. Yes, I'm here to help. Your friend knows I seem troubled, so you've been looking for me? What kind souls you are? I've lost something important, the engagement ring intended for my beloved. A lanky, monkey-like fiend stole it from me. And running... After running hither and thither, I managed to locate the beast in yonder square, but I'm uncertain how I should get the ring back. Once I might have sim... Once, I might have considered fighting for it, but given the shortage of ether, the danger is simply too great. If I were to be shook down and my essence dispersed, I am not like to be remade for a long time. I cannot risk that, not after my beloved has finally been given form again, after a hundred years. Though it pains me to do so, I shall give up on the ring, but I thank you for your kind concern. No, no, let me do it. Let me do it. I'm going the wrong way, ain't I? Uh huh. Really, I have really gone the the long and wrong way. Ay ay ay. Hello. Leaving Torbalan. The music isn't interrupted by the battle theme. Huh. Well then. Alright. Oh, it is you again. Was there something else? A treat from mis mischievous fiend. This engagement ring is intended for the beloved of the fair-haired man. Good heavens, this is the ring. You took it back from that beast? Thank you. Thank you ever so much. I see you have already resolved the situation, Mareshna. You must be the friend who first noticed me. I owe you my gratitude as well. My name is Euclis. Or Euclis. I was planning to propose to my beloved with the ring, and thanks to you, I can do just that. Well, well, that is cause to rejoice indeed, the two of you meet here. No, we were sweethearts in life, but I died young, and she only followed me decades later. Even then, our reunion wasn't yet to be, for the ether shortage means that not everyone can be recreated. I had to wait, but until recently, to see her again. Uh oh. A reunion beyond death. Such a thing would be possible here, I suppose. I assume you're newly arrived. While our memories are stored in the terminals, less than one in ten of us has been given form at present. I myself have been reincarnated three times now, and each time there seems to be fewer of us. It's fairly a miracle that my beloved and I could meet. I see, given the circumstances, the chance of existing concurrently with an acquaintance would be slim indeed, and slimmer still for a loved one. Truly, that is why I decided to do that which I failed to do in... Truly, that is why I decided to do... do... Why can't I say this line? That is why I decided to do that which I failed to do life. Ask her for her hand. 
With her regulator, she was spared the sadness of my death. Even so, she never took a man for the rest of her days. She told me that, although she couldn't remember me afterwards, she could never shake the feeling that someone precious had been a part of her life. The sweet fool. The ring represents a yearning I have long carried, though I know full well it is only a construct, like these bodies of ours. There is a part of me that wonders if this is wrong, not that I expect us to exist forever, even in this form. But to be the one but to be with the one I love once again make her happy. However long this world may be, I have nothing but gratitude for Queen's Fiend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall go and make that proposal. I've made her wait long enough as it is. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my thanks. Ticket? For the gondola. To ensure that order is preserved, we must observe the proper way of doing things, even here. It's very much like Queen's Fiend to make it so, is it not? Take care, my friends, and see to it you have no regrets. Onto a gondola of a Grahatia. Oh my. So, about that proposal, Graha. Well, I think it's about time we rejoin the others. But what do you say we go by gondola? I expect it won't be possible to do so once the terminal has been shut down. Come then, let us seek a vessel at the pier. <laughs> the Wall and Graha shippers are going uh, insane right now. <laughs> I've presented our tickets. While I'm no stranger to boats, I can't help but feel a little excited. We can push off at any time. Mind the gap when you're bored. Oh, my heart. Please say this is voiced. No, no, I'll sit next to him. Damn it! Do you remember what I said to you, before all this? That life is a series of journeys. That you must be true to yourself, for indeed, there's no telling what awaits. I don't know about you, but I certainly didn't expect to behold such sights. The future is as fluid as the water beneath us, truly. Tell me, my friend, have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? I have. I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. If only for one more day. One more day. A joyous one, if I could choose. I did all that I could to make it happen. I tried everything and spared nothing. In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way. But so, so many were beyond my power to save. 
What would I have done then? Had I this? And you? Can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss? That... I don't know how to answer your question, Graha. Ah, oh, existential crisis was not on my to-do list this week. And yet here we are. It was a nice... Well, it was nice to chat with you again, my friend. It feels as though it has been some time. Yeah, it was since 6.5. Having met endless like the class, I feel I've come to understand Sveen a little better. Anyone would wish those dear to them a long and happy future, and she bears the burden of this desire for all her subjects. Yet as Kryle said, we too have people we cannot lose. Come, we can get to the fountain via yonder bridge. Alright. day we first met. Oh, all right. Sapphire. I do so love the view of the city from here. The picturesque scene of passers-by against the skyline is absolutely beautiful. But the endless have greatly diminished. The buildings in the distance have grown dark. What will come next, I wonder? Now that I look at it closely, the clock has no hands. On account of there being no need to track the time, perhaps. Finished talking to the locals, have you? I'd be keen to hear your impressions. Kryal and Erinville are still out and about, it seems. So, how was it? What was your impressions of those you met? It was great. Everyone was so happy. Just talking to them made me happy too. Don't be yawning. What about you, Marishna? Yeah, we helped the fi guy find a wedding ring. It was great. Had to find a giant water monkey. Sweethearts reunited. That's a miracle. While it is a miracle after a fashion, the system strives to make such encounters possible. If you meet someone you know, it's probably not by chance. The terminals hold information on unfulfilled longings and use them to orchestrate unions like Euclid's. I see. That the terminals can do this is impressive indeed. But there is one thing I do not understand. According to Euclid, his beloved passed away decades after he did. Yet they appear to be of like age. Ah yes, people are, not people are not necessarily recreated as they were when they passed away. The appearance of an endless, I speculate, reflects the happiest period in their life. Uh oh. Is that the case for you, then? Not that I can tell how old you are as slowly as your people age. I'm not sure, to be honest. I have so many happy times it's hard to know which one applies. I am insufferably inquisitive. Whether it's nature or technology, I can't help but want to learn more about the world around me. You might say that discovery is what gives me joy. It made me happy in life. And it may have been a blessing afterwards. 
You became a hacker, didn't you? The other endless are content with what they have here, you see. They don't develop the urge to leave. But I was so determined to see the world again, and I taught myself how to gain control of a vessel and ventured outside. <laughs> You're a proper rebel. Well, that's about... That, that's enough about me for now. While we wait for Kryl and... and Eleneshba. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I have a favour to ask of you. Yes. As you may have noticed, most of the fountains here aren't running. That's because, despite its shiny appearance, the city is centuries old and everything is dreadfully run down. The fountains apparently used to put on magnificent shows, and I was hoping that we could get them working again. Giving the control units a dose of ether should be enough to restore the circuits and switch them on, but being endless, I'm unable to do that. I realise this is a selfish request, but at the last, I'd like to treat the people here to the display. Just leave it to us, I'd love to see the show myself. Thank you, the control units are built into the surrounding lampposts. If you tend to a few of them each, you'll be done before you know it. Once the fountains are fixed, we can round up Elneshba and Kryl and head to the Hydro Terminal together. So the time is nigh. Come, let us set to it. But which terminal are you in? The fountain shows are supposedly magnificent. Perhaps I'll impress even my fussy little bun bun. Duh! <laughs> If someone doesn't name a male Vieira Fussy Little Bun Bun, I will be very disappointed. You've not been to the... Not yet, I suppose I should pay it a visit. Might as well do that while you can, I'm about to turn off your life support. like ordinary stone, but inside is electrope. Talk about confusing. Uh-huh. This must be the control. I had two guesses of what the final zone would be. One was the Golden City itself. The other one, the other one was the, the cloud. We switched on the circuits like you asked. Oh, it's voice. You know, what? I'll finish my thought real quick. It was either the Golden City or the cloud, where the people's memories were going. I guess both guesses were correct. Uh huh. All right, time to meet myself and enjoy this cutscene. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully. This does the trick. Oh. It's beautiful. I've 
never seen anything like it. Wuklamat! By the gods, it's Namika. Begging your pardon, but I'm looking for a child, a small Shabrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? You. You are Namika, aren't you? It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? Oh, what am I to do? The child and I, we aren't related by blood, but she's as dear to me as my own. It's all right. You found her. I'm here. You? Could it be? Yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Utlamat. Oh! It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, then that means... No, no. I'm still alive. Oh. Good, good. Thank the gods for that. But what power has brought us together again? This isn't a dream, is it? It's not a dream. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. Such hazards you must have braved and hardships endured to come so far. It was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me. Because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You're everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. Looking back. I've had a blessed life, and it was because I was a part of yours. When I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. 
but it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. You became my purpose, my joy. You're mine too. To have this chance to speak with you again and leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why, but I am grateful. So grateful. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself. I will, Mama. I will. And one day, we'll meet again. I understand why Sveen cannot bear to let them go. But as painful as it is to part, we're meant to live and die, to let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. Come. Let's keep moving. Holy. Is... is she still...? No. That's... Oh. They really love to tug at the hearts strings, don't they? Remembered! <laughs> oh, I usually chuckle from that. Might as well get this while I'm here. Living memory. <sighs> if you had asked me at the start this what the last zone was gonna be. This is not how I pictured it would be. Uh huh. I've made a wonderful memory. Thank you. The show was breathtaking, was it not? Amika looked truly happy. Just to make sure, Kakuya, you're not going to disappear when we shut this terminal down, right? Not just yet. It's the Aero Terminal in the Northwestern Zone that holds my memories. You already know how to operate the terminal. It's the same process as the Fountain's Control. I'll leave it, you I'll leave it for you to decide when to shut it down. Doing so will cause the Endless here to fade away, together with this beautiful scenery. If you still wish to speak with people, or see the sights, You'll want to do that first. Upon shutting down the hydro terminal, it will not be possible to restore Canal Town to its present form. We 
have to let go. Sleep tight, everyone. That... That was rough. Thank you. I have braced myself for it, but to actually erase the endless is hard. Yeah. This is the living memory's true appearance. Yeah. This hurts. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. But the only way now is forward. In serenity and sorrow. I chose this path. I won't halt my steps. The land of dreams. Right, I... Yeah, I am going to be continuing this next time. This... Was, is... A lot to take in. Yeah, I think it's... Best if I have a little break first, and then I will continue to the final zone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.